time a painter living in Johannesburg, South Africa? Uh, I think art for me is essential to my everyday life, the idea of creation. I think I would be a, I would be a much worse person without it. But um, essentially the reason that I chose painting as a medium is because of this infinite potential that painting has. It, it, I often talk about it as being a sort of godlike sense of creation, but that the surface of the canvas allows you to move in so many different directions and to uh, build and demolish and it's, it's um, forgiving and excruciating. And I think um, I think that challenge of painting for me is it's um, it's incredibly uh, important just to just to my everyday life. Um, I studied at the Witt School of Art in Central Johannesburg, located in Brownfontein in the city centre. And I um, it is it is one of two very good art schools in South Africa, and I'm incredibly proud to have gone there. Uh, I studied uh, fine arts under um, a variety of different of, of different lecturers. It was not a sort of medium specific school, but I fell into painting, and I think that the relationship then became quite organic. Um, and uh, yeah, I sort of found my roots in painting and art school. I, I think. I think um, my work is inherently sort of um, nostalgic in one way, but it's also very much about um, communion with, you know, those who came before and a kind of like uh, deep dive into our sort of roots and the way that we store information and the way we like, we, we, we uh, construct our narratives, you know, so, so I'm often interested in like memory objects so specifically a an archive i was given by my grandmother uh depicting as i've said a little bit earlier depicting um sort of life in rural kuzulu natal and like what what it means to be a sort of person undergoing a particular um political experience a polit particular lived experience particular experience of migration uh, and those those kinds of ideas for me are incredibly important in the way that I practice, and um, I'm, I I think that they're just um, they're this sort of fodder that just keeps keeps giving giving, and and I think the the idea of photography in the way that I work it's it's quite evident in perhaps maybe this painting where you know it's taken from a birthday party scene and the idea of flash photography in people's faces and the idea of like merriment and like light making for me I always. I always find so so very interesting. Um, my figures have I, I, I often think about them as as ghosts or imprints. Um, for example, this guy I, I, I used to have this idea that I was going to be an incredibly gifted like you know realist painter or whatever but, but, but what happened really is that I started exploring the medium and I started finding the medium and finding the medium in your reference objects and from like all other sorts of points of view are um, 
it's a uh, it's really very very stimulating because I feel like I'm on a sort of journey of discovery. I'm a journey. I'm on a journey journey of not only communicating with those who've, who've come before, like constructing these like narratives, but like reconstructing them, and and you know breaking down to build. I suppose is, is maybe one of the ways I would I would put it. So that one's my grandfather. I haven't seen this photograph before, which is quite interesting because the archive just keeps giving. Look at that one. I don't actually, I don't even remember this one. Um, so yeah, this this is the archive of photographs I was given by my grandmother. It dates all the way from possibly the 40s, maybe earlier. I mean, these sorts of images that I've worked from, um, I feel, are much earlier. Um, and I often look at the sort of texture of the photograph, the sort of level of like. Um, material degradation and I think that informs my process quite a lot um, and I think you know these sort of like shadow areas and these are this idea of like ghosts of the landscape and sort of you know those those who are you know our forebears and I think that these images are quite quite important as far as informing my process goes um, yeah so they, this is sort of the starting point um, And there are hundreds of them. There are just so many, so many snapshots of life. I mean, look at that one. That one's quite incredible. This is. Um, I think I'm incredibly lucky to be an artist practicing in Johannesburg. Um, the art scene in Johannesburg and in South Africa in general is incredibly. Uh, diverse. There are so many different modes of production, and there are so many different sorts of artists. Um, there are lots of there's lots of institutional support. Um, perhaps not as much as you know there was post COVID, but that is you know I suppose it's a global sort of um, symptom. Um, I'm incredibly incredibly happy to have very many close friends who are who are practicing artists and. I think the wealth of information and support um, is incredible, and there's lots of solidarity within the community. I think we, I think we do help each other out quite a lot, and we learn from each other. And I think that's that sort of um, atmosphere of like warmth and, and and creation. It's it's an incredibly good place to be. So I think Johannesburg is steeped in history. It's got an incredibly complicated uh, history of spatial politics and access and um, I think the story of South Africans is one that is incredibly confusing you know we have we, we're living in a sort of post apartheid moment where uh, you know the majority of people still have no access to particular things and inequality is still incredibly high in South Africa and I think that that all comes together in very interesting ways. I my work tends to deal with particular communities and particular ideas of migration, particular ideas of like foreignness and alienness and like being home and being lost. And I think I think these kinds of things all sort of combine in the city. You know, this is what this is this is what makes up the sort of experience of living in Johannesburg and working in Johannesburg and um, I think I think that that kind of that kind of atmosphere is just so palpable in the air, in the way that you move and navigate the city. Um, it is it is uh, it is an incredibly incredibly strange and complicated place. Um, as an artist, what I want to achieve the most is that I want to elevate particular voices, not just particular voices, voices that have been historically silenced. Um, my my ambitions are not so they're not they're not grandiose they're they're more that I would like to move people I think with with the stories that that you know I'm I'm I, I feel less of a creator and more of a channel for for these kinds of things to come through and I think that those those are my key ambitions as an artist is is just to you know bring meaning, give, give voice and, and, and um, just create. I think if I, if I can be 
in a in a place where all I do is 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 create every day, then that is that I will have then I will have succeeded.